my one goal today is to get a photograph from the top of Ben Ann and the sunrise that happens. Hopefully the cloud's going to stay away and we'll get a nice lit up sky. Let's see what happens there. I've had an early start this morning from about a quarter past four from the car park. Sun rises at a quarter past five. So I've given myself about an hour to climb to the top. I think it's about 500 meters, so it's not a high mountain or hill as some might call it. And there we have the silhouette, the conical shape of Ben Ann. Doesn't look too far to go now, so I hope they'll be up there within about half an hour. That'll give me a bit of time to get set up and ready for whatever sunrise might happen. Fingers crossed, eh? So that's me at the top. Not really the sunrise that I was hoping for, but that doesn't look like it's gonna be bad. We have the sunrise just over here behind me. Um, quite nice views out over these mountains. I think this is Ben Letty, which is just covered in cloud, and I think it's pushing air up, creating cloud just in front of the sunrise, which is the reason for that cloud bank. The other way, however, oh, let me just organize myself. The other way, however, looks quite nice out over Loch Katrine. So I'm maybe going to work with a composition here. I've seen a few photographs of compositions of this loch before. So this is maybe something to work with. Um, spend a bit of time getting set up here and get back to you then. So first photograph is down. We have some lovely cloud rolling over Ben Letty here. Camera set up and ready to go. What I've done here is I'm going to take multiple exposures. Uh, let me see if I can show you here. Um, we've got one shot about two stops over. One shot right bang in the middle. And one shot two stops under. What I'll be able to do is just combine those in Lightroom. And it means that there's shadows are there. It means that the highlights are there and just makes for a photograph that you can get a little bit more from, I think. I'm gonna to continue to have a look about here for other things. There's some lovely cloud rolling over the hills just over here. Again, with a little bit of sunrise happening there. So there's still more to be had here before the cloud rolls in, I think. Images in the bag. I haven't taken it yet. I've just framed it up and what we have is like a little clearing in the forest just down in the valley below us. There's a little stream running through it and it's an explosion of colour. It's fantastic looking. It really just popped out at me whenever I glanced over at it. Um, got a nice long lens on out at 105 millimetres. Uh, polarizer on the front as well. Uh, just trying to make those colours pop. We've got green, we've got brown, we've got yellow, we've got the shape of the stream. This looks quite a nice little image. Something that I find the more I do this photography thing is that if I spend a little bit more time in one place, compositions just jump out at me and that's something that uh, I'm really trying to concentrate on at the moment. I'm just arriving to a place and spending maybe half an hour in one location just scouting it out, just, just waiting for things to, to appear. And I think I'm getting some good results. So 
so that has been my little trip up Ben Anne. It's a nice little mountain. And I think I've got some nice little images from the top. I'm just making my way back down to the car park now. And then off home. Maybe even stop off at a wee cafe to get a little bit of breakfast. Because it's still that early. To be honest with you, I forgot to pay at the car park this morning. Which is the reason for my quick departure from the top of the mountain. I think I only spent about half an hour, maybe 40 minutes up there, just enjoying the scenery. And then I suddenly realized I hadn't paid. Might pop down, put some money in the machine and spend a bit more time about this area rather than heading back up Ben Ann. The mountain itself, the hike itself, lovely easy little hike in. Took me about half an hour to get from the car park to the top today. That was fast walking. It's a really good way to maybe get into hiking. The views from the top are fantastic. The walk up, it's okay. There's a lot of deforestation. So you can see that in the background there, which is a pity. Uh, but yeah, back in Little Mountain. <laughs>